My name is John Michael, and this is the top of the hour news. This is the legacy of August 21. It is cause of August 21, 1971, Plaza Miranda bombing. Two grenades from the leaders of the Liberal Party at the Plaza Miranda rally failed to annihilate the Liberals ideality. Ten people were killed and stores seriously wounded, including LP leaders like Jovi Salonga, Eva Kalao, Monching Mitra, John Osmania, and Jerry Rojas. Lita Chance has shown at extreme left, running as the youngest candidate for Manila Council, miraculously survived the bombing, and touched and continued this Liberal Party service for the years. August 21, 1983, Ninoy Aquino assassination. Ninoy LP Secretary General coming home to unite the opposition and strengthen the Liberal Party was strategically murdered at the tarmac, the place of anger, and others united the nation. In the revolutionary fervor, culminating in the Etsa One People Power. August 21, 1989, founding of Kalibi. A new generation of young liberals established the LP Youth Wing, continuing a legacy of service and sacrifice to the nation. Inspired by the March Dome of Ninoy, the Kabataang Liberal ng Pilipinas, Kalipi, would serve as the training ground for future generations of leaders, both for the party and the country, and would help guide and strengthen federations of youth organizations internationally. August 21, 2009, our leader, as we commemorate these three events, we are mindful of their lessons and their implications for future gen for future. Democracy must be defended, the rule of law upheld, and institutions strengthened at all times. This is Jan Michael Barba reporting. Mass, yellow prayer assemblies later. Even if it's a red letter day, people from all walks of life will paint the color yellow today as they pay tribute to the late former Senator Benigno Nino in Aquino Jr., who was assassinated 26 years ago while fighting for the Philippine democracy. Inspired by the signature color of Nino's wife, the late former President Consul Cory Tomaco Aquino, many will be wearing yellow while motorists tie yellow ribbons on their vehicle in honor of the heroism and mart martyrdom of the senator. According to Mrs. Aquino's spokesperson, Lourdes Sitampo, the public swearing of yellow shirts and ribbons reminiscent of how the public mourned the recent demise of Mrs. Aquino, who succumbed to party respiratory arrest last August 1 after months of battling colon cancer. We encourage everyone to wear yellow shirts or ribbon as we observe the 26th death anniversary of Nino today. In praying and paying tribute to Nino, we are also celebrating the legacy that Tori has left us, Sitampo said. Yellow came to be identified with the Aquinos because of the song Tie a Yellow Ribbon, which was the song of a former prisoner coming home and asking his loved one to tie a yellow ribbon around the oak tree in their, in their yard if she still wanted him. He would keep going on if he saw no ribbon. The nation responded by tying yellow ribbons all over the country to show they still love me. This is Herman De Leon reporting. Very good evening. Red Tony of Palamba, firefight crisis today. The death toll in a firefight between government forces and mono separatists and Palawan Malabang has, has increased today with the leader of the Moro National Liberation Front or MNLF but among those killed the military said yesterday. Navy, Navy spokesman Lieutenant Colonel Edward Arevalo said seven bodies including the ring leader Abdullah Abdurajak Alias Taguro were found in 
Ten Iceland. He said three of the mur murders jump of the boat, which they used in their attempt to escape from pursuing troops. Pursuing troops. After 96 hours of fleet marine operation, he learned intelligence of personal guild insertion of naval special operations group. And marine time allowance given of negotiation of eight hours of protected firefighting, five were captured in a marine, in a marine personnel was wounded. Arevala said the assorted firearms were also seized by government troops, Navy flag officers in command Vice Admiral Ferdinand Torres. Ms. Wiles said he was ordered soldiers in an area to give due respect to the slain MNLF. Give due respect and dead MNLF the way we want them to respect our foreign comrades that they will first to have custody of after armed on confrontation he told soldiers to fight in a successful liberation front of Sicho Maragot and Tami Island in the Palabak Municipal of Palawan. And this is Angelo Nusenia reporting for ABC News. Thank you. Good morning to all the viewers. Today is Friday, August 21, 2009. The Globe launches virtual frontline services. Globe Business, the corporate arm of Globe Telecom, has launched one call. The country's first virtual frontline service geared for both small and medium enterprises as well as big companies. The specially designed office mobility solution enables people to collectively stay connected at any time with just one landline number by combining the functionality and power of a private branch exchange, one system with the range and flexibility of mobile phones. One call which is currently available in Metro Manila and Cebu enables companies to cut their costs by 34 to 30 percent versus traditional PBX according to Globe Business Headhill Henio. The service transfer transforms existing Globe cellular phones into a powerful business phone system, a virtual trunk line where all the extensions or local numbers are made up of the subscribers' employees. For a total monthly service fee of 999 a month, a Globe postpaid subscriber can use his number as a primary business line and have a default receptionist with an online control panel and interactive voice response. He can have license for at least five extension lines. This is this is Regimen Monte reporting.